Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am going to be having a go at the Roll to Pass challenge on Wreckfest. Now, a little while ago I did a stream on this game and this proved to be an awful lot of fun, a huge amount of fun doing this challenge. So I wanted to have another go with it and just kind of make, it, make a video messing around with, again, another one of the new cars and maybe some of the new circuits and so on. The way this challenge works, so we're going to pick, we're going to go to the Gravel 1 circuit, it's been a while since we have been here. And the idea is me driving the War Wagon. This, one of the new cars added in the last update, slightly modified so that I will go to the back of the grid, I'll have the highest performance rating, whatever it's called on here, and yeah, I will go to the back of the field, have got eight laps to try and win the race. However, I cannot overtake the leader without having first rolled their car. So I must roll the leader before I can get past. And of course, not just that, I've got to get through the pack up to the leader, roll them over, and then in rolling them over, stay in the lead. If a different car overtakes, if a different car goes into the lead other than me, from the or from the roll, from the crash, and so on, I have to then go roll them subsequently. So we've got to get a big enough gap, and I've got to be quick enough at rolling the car over so that I can still remain in the lead. It's a silly challenge on paper, however, it is an awful lot of fun and surprisingly difficult. Surpri trying to get the roll cleanly and quick enough so that I remain in the lead is not an easy thing to do. Now, there are some tactics can come into this. Uh, for example, if we were to, you know, like take out second place. Oh, not second place, sorry. Take out third place as I am behind the leader. Oh, God, or take out a Volvo randomly because you can. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, if you take out the cars, you know, in, in third and fourth, when you then go to do the roll on the leader, they're further back. So you've got more time to uh, recover the position and so on. It's... Uh, yeah, there are varying tactics that can go in to this one. We first need to get ourselves through the pack quickly. We want as long as possible to try and get the roll completed. And if we get stuck in traffic down here, that's not going to help matters. You know, if we end up in the wall, if we end up uh, broke, heavily broken before we even get to the leaders, well, we're going to have a tough time. Oh, turn one and a lot of cars uh, running out wide. I didn't really want to tank the back of his car, but I guess we ended up in that position anyway. Oh, God, there was a little bit slower car ahead of me. We murdered and we've had to go. This has not quite gone so cleanly. Oh, ooh, we blew the radiator on the fence. Bloody fences are dangerous in this game. They are very, very dangerous, actually, in terms of uh, damaging damaging the front end of your cars as you crash through them. Though I imagine a fence, you know, hit a wooden fence at 60, 70 miles an hour, it could well, could well punch the radiator in your car. Not something I intend on particularly trying, I shall be honest there. Uh, eighth place. Eighth place as we head on to a lap number three. Three. Can we go around the outside into turn one? Nope, I'm glad we didn't try because they managed to crash into one another. We'll go around the outside on the run into turn two. That's more like it. Right, so progress looking good. Looking good this lap. However, as you can see, this group so tightly bunched together is not going to be easy to roll one of the rovers over and then get past. In fact, the rovers look like they're going to have a fight of their own. Oh, muscle car has gone and stolen all of my brake fluid. God damn it, muscle car. Look, you screwed yourself over stealing my brake fluid. Why would you do that? Uh, oh dear. Uh, we're sixth place. We're sixth place. We're steadily, steadily working our way forward here. Now, turn one has been somewhere where we're fairly quick. The AIs really throw the cars in. And I'm having to kind of follow what they do so that I don't get pit maneuvered by one of them. I'll throw it in a lot more into turn two. That's a nice overtaking manoeuvre. That's some nice clean racing on this game. Two cars in one corner. Oh, come on. Come on, War Wagon. You can make it. You can make it. Now, this is where we got into trouble last time with the muscle cars. Hug that inside. Don't let there be a gap for someone to fire a uh, muscle car up. The, I think the red car's still fighting with somebody else. That red car's just an arsehole, basically, I think, is what we are, what we are learning here. <laughs> right. Three rovers to go. Three rovers to go. And a muscle car who is wanting to come and join the charge, well, towards the front of the pack here. Seems to be turn two. Well, kind of the exit at turn one, we get better than these guys. Oh, did me. Oh, I misjudged the length of my bloody car again. Not so good, apparently, with judging lengths of the vehicles on here. Where are you going, muscle car? 
there. Are you going to go? Are you going to try and fit around the outside there? Yep. And then we can bop you out a little bit wide. That's fine. Everything is under control here. Uh, thank you for that as well, Robert. Just that little bit of... Uh, that reassurance bump from you mean, means a lot. Uh, <laughs> we're running out of laps, though. This is the problem. We've got stuck in... Well, I say got stuck in traffic. We've just not been making the progress forward that I need to be. We've tangled with cars. We've shunted cars out of the way. Now, we could perhaps do with shunting second here. Uh, we could perhaps do with getting him as as far back as possible. Although, again, can't afford to lose too much time in that particular particular shunt. It looks like oh, it's going to come down to that final lap. We're going to have the uh, the one... Oh, the second might be about to spin himself in all of that. They managed to save it. Well done. It's going to be that, yeah, one lap. Throw the war wagon at the leader. Now, he's su I say it's surprising. It often does come down to <laughs> final lap. Final lap dash, if you get stuck in traffic for too long, then uh, the final lap mayhem is uh, often your only opportunity. Now, that has helped us. We have just given him a little bit of a side swipe, a little bit of a tickle towards the wall, and he is uh, not so close. But where are we going to be able to get a roll done? We aren't going to be far enough alongside at any point in this lap. Of course, we can go for a big torpedo. It is a uh, effective strategy at getting the car rolled, but to do that, we actually need to be close enough. We need to be close enough to the uh, car to torpedo them into a certain corner, and at this moment in time, we aren't. Oh, come on, war wagon. It's a big old jump there towards this final corner. Now, turn one is too fast. Turn one is way too fast to... Uh, <laughs> get a proper a proper torpedo, a proper roll on the go. Let's be neat, let's be tidy. Turn two is a good opportunity. There's no one around. Here we go. Turn two. Oh, it's only going to be a spin. It's not going to be a roll unless he has uh, tumbled over elsewhere. Now we've got to wait. We've got to wait for another car to inherit the lead. Here we go. Fortunately, this is now a big group of vehicles. We might still get a chance. Might still get a chance to go there. Oh, we've rolled him. No! Muscle cars through! No! <laughs> We got the Rovers, however, the Rovers, yeah, this is not so good. Ah, oh, there's nothing I can do. They've got there too fast. How the hell is he managing to... Oh, I was in the slightly wrong gear. Uh, <laughs> there was a great chain reaction crash in that by just tapping the back of the muscle car, managed to fire it into the two other vehicles and uh, stop them from uh, getting past me. Bugger. <laughs> and that, when it comes down to a one lap, a one lap crazy, it's very difficult. If we could have got the original roll better, it might have worked, just misjudged it. We got a spin rather than a roll, and then having to hang back, we had to torpedo, and just too many cars. Well, that was a failure. A spectacular failure, but it was indeed a failure. Uh, shall we go and have a try? Now, <laughs> this circuit, uh, surviving eight laps of this circuit with realistic damage is actually rather difficult. Uh, it's uh, at the old figure of eight. But me trying to roll the leader is, yeah, pretty, uh, pre pretty mad. It's not easy to roll cars at this stadium. The best bets, you know, the, the best opportunities you tend to get are big torpedoes in braking zones. And, well, funnily enough, around here, they just aren't braking zones. But we should have plenty of chaos. And chaos is what Wreckfest is best for. I would say it's what it's best for. Wreckfest, the AIs are actually pretty good when it comes to racing. If you want to race against them cleanly, if you don't want to pit maneuver them and try and roll them about, you can actually get some pretty damn good racing on the go. Uh, oh, they're going to crash into the wall on their own. Let's try and uh, try and stay out of trouble again. It's the whole make up positions early on. We're into ninth. You know, that's a really good first lap. That's a really good first lap. But eight laps around here is not long. Eight laps around here is only going to be a couple of minutes. Well, give or take getting crashed into at the crossover point, you know, because when that starts happening, anything is possible. I mean, just trying to get up to the leader here is... Uh, not always the easiest of tasks, uh, especially not when I am struggling a tad with my car. I mean, the wall wagon, while it is modified, is still probably not the best choice of car for uh, going around here. It's not got the greatest handling, certainly not compared to some of these smaller and lighter cars. The Rovers are putting up a real good fight at the front. Oh, although now one has fallen to the cross. I think that was probably the leader. 
Now, <laughs> this is where it starts getting messy. We've had the train separate a little bit here. We're going to have cars at almost random points around the track. And I'm actually going to try and spot who the hell the leader is now, because that yellow muscle car was the leader at one point. He's now not anymore. We're going to get past a couple more. Uh, the hairy <laughs> goldfish is who we're aiming for in this mess. Can I see which car that is? Uh, ooh, somebody's very broken up on the wall there. We're up to sixth, but the car ahead is a lap down and on fire. I mean, that's just what you want. Oh, <laughs> I think the leader was in that mess that uh, has just tumbled its way into the wall. Fireboy ahead of me is, uh, well, lighting the way, shall we say. Oh, this thing continuing to crash they're not really costing each other too much time and i'm not necessarily fast enough at this moment oh i'm pretty sure that the uh, fhd car had led the way at some point we're now up into uh, a fourth place here no no fellow estate car don't do it we're running out of laps very very quickly here uh, we're gonna need something to uh, happen for <laughs> For this to work, it's not, I don't think, going to happen. We're not doing a very good success here. The estate is pretty damn good as far as uh, as far as cars go, but it's not perfect for here. It's got the strength, but it lacks a uh, little bit in terms of the old uh, handling department. And we've got stuck on the outside of a wreck. No, Clarkson, don't you do it. Don't you do it. We'll put you in the wall. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Fourth place, so we'll have to do. I just couldn't get, couldn't get the leaders. We had a very, very good start. We had a very good start, but no. <laughs> well, I say no, not quite. Just a couple of tenths too slow around the lap. Bugger. This is not going according to plan, really. Uh, let's go to the mix mixed tracks. Now, there's a, 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 I like generally quite like these uh, mixed circuit. Let's go mixed. Ah, mixed two. Now, <laughs> we're going to use a special car. This road cutter that I have got has been modified. So when I last did the video on this, I said I, I didn't know if like the visual stuff affects the like performance rating of the cars. It does. So I stuck a bunch of different stuff on the road cutter. As you can see here, we made it rather rather silly. It's got a mighty wing, it's got a roll cage on the outside, massive exhaust, Lego wheels, and various crash protection bars. Now, all of that weight did drop it down from an A-class to a B-class. And now it is a very fast B-class, basically. Uh, it's, you know, if, if you were building cars for the various classes, this is probably the way you want to go about it. Drop down higher cars and, and so on. Because now this is very fast around the circuit and pretty damn strong pretty damn strong indeed so we should be good to bat the leaders and so on out of the way we should be able to get right up to the leaders and maybe have more than a lap to try and find a way to uh, roll them however the start line well the start line's gonna be a little bit crowded this thing it should we can see the speed this thing has got off the line it is immense uh, <laughs> this thing should have no problem rolling cars uh, however I would rather have rovers at the front than the muscle cars. The muscle cars would be uh, considerably more difficult to tumble over than the rovers. Oh, is he going to clock the wall? Need to be careful with that sort of manoeuvre. No! No muscle car out of the way. We will just push through if... I say if necessary. We will push through. We have got the power in this thing. Uh, we will be clear of those guys rejoining. Right, now that's been... Well... A lot of places, 20 places in a lap. <laughs> That's always helpful. Admittedly, we are helped by the fact that the AI religiously sticks to the uh, whoop, to the kind of track limits through that first corner. I say you track limits, like even with me vaguely following the letter of the law, you know, keeping two wheels within the white lines, I'm still way quicker through there than the AIs will ever go. So at this circuit, it is easier for me to. Uh, outpace the AI cars. Now, I want to go in the tarmac, but I wasn't sure if that AI rover was going to or not, so I uh, had to play it safe as not to get spun. And being spun in these, like getting involved in big shunts early on will put pay to any chance of the uh, the challenge ever working. Now, I've lost another lap there with no real progress made forward. Uh, ooh, whoop, there we go. Now you're out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, we just about kept two tracks on the circuit, but again, this is Wreckfest, and you can you can get away with that sort of thing. The game doesn't really care if you jump the uh, corner down there. Oh, there's a lot of B 
bits of carp on the outside of that corner. There's been some... Oh! <laughs> Second place was... Uh, that was a very last minute call. That was a very last minute call to suddenly decide, no, actually, I really want to go take the tarmac. And the tarmac route is a better route, but uh, you've got to call it a little bit early because you end up losing as much speed doing that um, as if you would just taken the... Uh, dirt route, right? That's another one out of the way. Now that is part of the tactic in doing that because I've now got four or five second gap back to those cars. I can go for the shunt on the leader when the time is right and not have to worry. I've also noticed something interesting about the uh, AI behaviour when it comes to a couple of these split route areas where there is a faster split route but that route might be potentially slightly more dangerous. The AI seem to not take it until you're right behind them. Like, if I'm far enough back, the rover up ahead would probably stick to the dirt rather than go on that tarmac route. And there's another circuit as well um, where, yeah, they they take their route almost based on how close the player is to them, which is interesting. Interesting, to say the least. Are we going to be close enough here to go for a big attack? Oh! <laughs> I'd say he was rolled. Quick, quick, get back onto the circuit. Oh, we definitely, de definitely rolled him. <laughs> uh, that was a that was an impressive, impressive shunt from the uh, road cutter here. That might be one of the most impressive. I wasn't expecting for that to have got recovered quite so easily. Well, I say recovered quite so easily. Oh, where have we gone? We've gone very, very wide. That's not what I wanted to be doing whatsoever. Uh, thankfully. Thankfully, we are still well clear. <laughs> this thing is a bit of a strong vehicle, to uh, to say the least. And uh, when it hits the side of the small lightweight cars, it does send them a long way into the trees, a long way into the scenery. I don't know where on earth that rover is going to end up rejoining from that, how much damage it would have done. I did spot there was a uh, lap down car not that far away. I think we've got this one mostly, if I don't do anything dumb at least through these first corners it can probably deal with the muscle car if we catch the lapped down vehicles then we will have to go and give them a little bit of a roll as well uh, it might end up being us losing the race but yeah the, the modifications on this have made it into an utter utter beast I mean, it looks silly but that is half of the fun of it it is supposed to <laughs> I deliberately made it to look ridiculous uh, would probably be, in fact, actually, maybe we will give it a try in a demo derby. Probably be pretty damn strong in one of those, especially in, in B-Class against these kind of vehicles. I would imagine this uh, this monster would do some serious damage. Oh, somebody else is out. Oh, come on. That is just too tasty a target. That is too tasty a target to not go for. Oh, it didn't work, though. Oh, didn't actually quite mean to go for a reset. But <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Well, I might have pressed the wrong button in all of that, and it has saved me a whole heap of time. Oh, that was a, a terrible miss by me. That was a terrible miss by me. We kind of put him into the wall. Oh, we almost managed to roll ourselves. No. <laughs> Silly things nearly went on in the final lap. I don't know actually what the AI did to one another down by that bridge. There was, there was a kerfuffle. There was a hell of a kerfuffle. Either way, we came out victorious. Definitely rolled to pass in... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one. Right, I was going to do another race. However, having seen what this just did to the cars, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious to see what it'll do in the Demo Derby. So, we'll go for the Demolition Arena. We will go for our heavily modified ludicrous road cutter. There'll be 23 of them. It'll be realistic damage, which means that after the initial impact, I've got to be careful. I've got to... Uh, I say run away and hide a lot. We've got to kind of pick and choose the fights that we go into. I don't really want to get involved in every single crash. Because if I do, well, we're just going to take so much damage. We're going to take a horrendous amount of damage. And that's not what you want, really. Not what you want with your car. Now, I'm hoping, will that have been enough to stop the AI murdering going for the big old murder ball after me? Uh, it looks like it might have been. You know, it looks like we might have been okay. Right, do we have... B-Class would have the little CRXs. Oh, there are CRXs. The easy, the juicy targets for the big, mean muscle car. Or oh, that's a juicy target for the big, mean muscle car as well. 
Oh, we've, we've made that into a short wheelbase. That is that is a short wheelbase car now. And CRX, come on, out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Damn, this thing is uh, a brutal machine. When it when you get things right, when you are, I say when you get things right, when you go for these uh, pick and choose your target moments. Now, oh, we're going to injure ourselves on the uh, tire bundles there, like a moron. I uh, have got to be careful, of course, because we will put our own car out quite easily, although that was a takedown. We're still at 84% health. I would hope we are the healthiest car in this field. The estates are probably pretty good. Now, I see no no need for going into that uh, particular crash. Uh, it would do a lot of damage to me, judging by the speed at which the estate car was still going. You, Panda, oh, you're going to survive. Sneaky Panda indeed gets away with that crash. Oh, estate car, you can go over. <laughs> Oh, th there is going to come a time, there is going to come a time when my car is then too poorly to really dish out these hits. But up until that time, we are going to enjoy the power. That was probably, a, that was a little bit um, ambitious by me. That took a fair, a fair, well, whack to our car. Come on, you're going to go out. There we go. We are up to three takedowns, although I think I'm going to have to start using the back of my car. Uh, <laughs> there is some fire. There is some fire coming out of the front. Uh, Volvo, where are you going, good sir? I would like to steal bits of your car. Or some of your health. I, mean, I could steal some of your health. I need vampirism on my... Can we make a vampire uh, derby car that gets healthier as we crash into stuff or as we break other stuff? That would probably be cheating. Let's be honest here. That would probably be cheating. Uh, we uh, we kind of evened it out and damaged on that one there. Did four to him. Did, he did four to me. Uh, we don't really have the... Sp I need a longer reverse gear in this car. Uh, I say unfortunately, there is actually a tuning um, a tuning tab that I haven't really looked into, like car setup-wise. I don't know if there is a way to adjust gear ratios. Could be quite interesting if there was uh, potential for... Uh, yeah, getting these cars to go quicker in reverse. Is that another takedown? Or did that, am I not counted as a takedown because he crashed his car and wiped it out on me rather than by me? Uh, I think we have got... <laughs> An unstoppable force here, in terms of uh, in terms of derbies. This is what you need. This thing has dished out a horrendous amount of punishments, and none of these cars have got an answer to it. I can probably now actually just pick off the remaining cars with a few well-timed bops. But I say well-timed bops. Just a, a, it doesn't even have to be well-timed. We'll just find them and destroy their cards because we've still got 40 health and he has one. I might have built... I might have got a uh, damn near <laughs> unbeatable derby car. Certainly against the AIs, of course. Players will likely have similarly leveled modified cars and that would even the playing field if you came to a multiplayer thing. <laughs> Six takedowns. That is by far and away the best I have ever done in a derby. <laughs> Six takedowns, 4,600 damage. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> that is utterly crazy. What a machine. What a machine that one is. Well, to finish off, the derby was good fun. I think we're going to have to, as with as with any Wreckfest video, it wouldn't be fair to uh, not finish up with a trip to Crash Canyon. Six laps. This time we will again be playing the Roll to Pass challenge. Okay? <laughs> we will be playing that challenge. Even if I get to the lead around here, like even if I get to the lead in a couple of laps and roll the leader and so on, it doesn't mean I'm going to be able to stay there. Uh, this circuit, of course, big crashes are, I say guaranteed, but uh, certainly quite likely. And they can adversely affect the player without the player, well, I say without the player being at fault, especially with the uh, cars now driving both ways around these loops. I'm tending to just stay to a high line. That tends to keep me out of trouble when it comes to the uh, comes to the loops. Oh god, we're going to land on the back of a muscle car. No, we'll just turn the muscle car into the I say the solid wall, but uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to hit the walls along along either side of the straight. Oh god, someone else went to my uh, high side strategy. That's not what I wanted to see because I haven't seen the AIs do that yet. That's quite scary. Oh. <laughs> we ate a little car. We really ate a little car. It, it's completely... Oh, that's a big mess. That's not even a car anymore. Whatever that thing was, it's not a car anymore. It is... Uh, 
It's gone. Ow. I say ow, that did one damage to me and that took off half of his health. I have built the ultimate OP machine here. This is just the ultimate... It's, I would accelerate everything. It bounces wildly, which isn't quite what I wanted it to be doing. No, 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 I'm not supposed to be rolling myself. That's not part of the challenge. Uh, yeah, it out accelerates everything. It turns very, very well, and it decimates other cars. Although we are still only in 12, because I'm doing that. It's just too much fun wrecking havoc. Oh, this isn't good for me in terms of the challenge. I might have lost sight of what I was supposed to be doing here. That it is entirely possible that I've just decided to try and murder everything, forgetting we were supposed to be getting the leader. Now, the plus point of this destroy everything challenge is we might cause so much chaos that even though I'm in 12th, uh, not 12th, sorry, 15th at the moment, might still be able to get to the leader. Because there might well be a big crash somewhere that allows me to catch up. I don't know if my damage suspension... Is that, that really is half a car. There is a car there with the entire front end missing. I am pretty sure of that. <laughs> God, I love this game. I love this game. The new updates of the kind of the January update and the various sort of hot fixes and so on that have gone with it are fantastic. Yeah, absolutely incredible with the uh, tougher damage, if you like, on the vehicles and the ability to make beasts like this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's entertainment. Oh, we very nearly rolled off a wreck of a car. T-Man has got destroyed there. <laughs> I don't know if you were the leader or not. No, you weren't the leader. I don't know what position you were, but uh, you're not in it anymore. Oh, Volvo got hurt by somebody. Right, we're sick. <laughs> After all of this, we are now in sick place. The, uh, the leader car, oh, Kyle, is uh, 12 seconds ahead. And we are making our way through, the, quite literally through the field, most of these laps. The slight downside is we've wrecked so many cars now. It's got to this point where oh, sort of lap down cars, wrecks of cars, aren't causing as many problems for the leaders. Oh, I say that, we've actually closed out to within six seconds of the leader. Yeah, because there are now quite a few cars not actually circulating, that has uh, calmed a little bit of the chaos, although apparently not for that muscle car. We will go through on him. We're up to third. We're up to third. We've oh, had a big spin. This is the final lap. And I don't think, unless Kyle gets stuck in traffic, we can do much about it. Uh, I don't know what happens. We might have to go. There might be a, there might be a call here for some drastic tactics. Drastic tactics are needed if we are going to stop uh, whichever car it is. Oh, I don't think you were the guys I wanted to murder. I think it's gone wrong. <laughs> I don't know where he was. I just saw nameplates and aimed for them, hoping that one might be the leader. I couldn't see his car. I think his car has got stuck somewhere because somebody different took the victory. Yeah, uh, I don't know where it is. We might still get third. We did. We bounced. We tumbled. We rolled our way into third. <laughs> yeah. Mad right. I got, I got a little bit carried away with crashing into everything that time. Just, there was a small smidge, just, just a smidge carried away with trying to knock everything out of the race entirely. And I'm not sure it was conducive to completing the challenge. However, my god was it fun. And <laughs> this, this road cutter is absurdly OP for B-Class. I mean, I, I got third in that race and I spent most of it messing around, barely trying. Yeah, it's insanely strong. It can cause all sorts of havoc. Uh, when the suspension went, it was not very fun to drive across the bumps. It did start having problems with that, but it just didn't matter. The car was so fast and batted everything out of the way that uh, nothing could really stand before it. But there we go. That was some more fun on Wreckfest. Uh, if you haven't played this game for... Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's the car we flattered. If you haven't played this game for a while yet, do go check out the January updates and so on. There's a lot more cars to play with. It's, it's just ridiculously, ridiculous carnage now. And that's what you want. That is absolutely what you want. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.